Hi, today I wanted to talk to you about how to start thinking in English, because this is a question that I've been asked multiple times, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about my perspective on that. Let's get started. When I look back on my English learning education, I think that there is one particular moment that I can pinpoint when I feel that I started thinking in English. Uh, just to be clear, usually you cannot define exact moment when that happened. You usually realize that uh, later on, right? Like, oh, I, I was thinking in English, I'm thinking in English. Maybe I had a dream in English. So usually you realize that later on. But I think for me, it was when I started studying at university because I, I studied teaching English and all of the subjects were in English. So that was something new for me. And that was like an immediate switch because after high school, when you learn subjects uh, in high school, uh, they are in your native language, and English is seen as another subject, right? Then the switch was that I was learning again content in English, um, but not English as a language, as a subject, right? It was just naturally happening in English. So a natural immersion that was happening in this faculty. And that was something, wow, like I, I was amazed. And I think that was that the moment when I started to process information in English because I was absorbing information in English. So I started processing it in English. Uh, talking about it in English was easier than, than in my native language. Um, probably if you have consumed a lot uh, content about a certain topic, then you start to realize that it might be easier to talk about this topic in English, because you just have all of the key vocabulary to, to cover that. And probably you don't know that, but I studied my master's degree uh, on um, content and language integrated learning, which is called CLIL. And this is the methodology that advocates for using English, not as a, as a subject, but as a, as a tool uh, to learn new concepts in the English and it's used in a lot of bilingual schools uh, it's very common in bilingual education and it's a great uh, way of showing kids because it's usually uh, used in the early education uh, that English is not just a subject that you need to pass at school and that's also something that you need to change in order to start thinking in English you need to stop seeing English as a subject at school. You need to stop seeing it as a set of grammar rules as well, because let's be honest, a lot of us see English as a set of grammar rules, and it's not. Uh, it's a tool that you can use to meet new people, to have fun, to have really deep conversations with people that you care about. Okay? So that's what happened to me with English. Then I want to talk about Spanish and Italian as well. Um, it, it was actually the other way around. First, Italian. So I went to study abroad. I studied in Italy and some of my subjects were in Italian. So exactly the same story happened. I had to process information in Italian. So naturally, I started to think in Italian. And as I lived there, I was also surrounded by the language. So the immersion was even more natural. Uh, then the thing with Spanish was quite interesting because I started learning Spanish when I was studying English and Italian uh, translations, but I wanted to, to learn Spanish. Um, so what I did is I knew just the very basics of Spanish that I studied on my own. I've never done any language course. So I, start, I signed up into a class at university that was in Spanish. So it was about history and geography of Ecuador. So I started learning things about Ecuador uh, in Spanish and I was fascinated by that because that was it. Like I, I didn't care so much about Ecuador, but it was mostly um, about 
processing information in English and this feeling of that, it, it was truly amazing. And that was the moment when everything clicked like, ah, okay, so this is how you do it. This is how you push yourself into thinking in the language. So I was really proud of myself because I managed to pass this subject, even if my level of Spanish was not uh, that high back then. Uh, and it gave me a lot of confidence too. Uh, then um, you might know my story. Then I moved to, to Spain in 2016 and I started to be surrounded by, by the language. So obviously the immersion was very natural. Um, but I was surrounded by people from different countries. Um, and the true moment when I realized that I started thinking in English, when it was when I shared an apartment with Spanish people. And there was a person there that I really wanted to talk to. And this person didn't speak English. So I was pushed uh, to use my basic Spanish and try to expand it and to express myself and to communicate with this person. And I managed to do that. And I think that was a breakthrough moment when I started to think in English because I had a real purpose. Uh, I really wanted to communicate with this person plus the immersion and living in Spain. That, that helped a lot. So I would say that, that these were some breakthrough moments for me when I started to think in those languages. Uh, if you ask me in what language I dream, I don't know. No, I usually don't remember my dreams, so I, I really don't know in what language I, I dream. Some people are able to answer that question. Mm, I'm not. Um, but what is there for you? I think that what you can do when you are preparing for the SLP, JFLT, STANAC exam, or in general, just learning English, maybe you don't have any upcoming exam, what you can do to create yourself this kind of environment of content and language integrated learning is to do some courses in English. And I have a few courses that I can recommend. They come from Coursera. And I will um, leave you the, the links in the description of this video. There are courses uh, on geopolitics uh, mostly, but not only. You can also choose something that is related to, to your hobbies, to your interests, something that you're just generally interested in. That also works. It doesn't have to be that serious, only about geopolitics, but it might be, and it will uh, be very beneficial for you during the exam preparation process. So that's definitely what I would recommend uh, doing a course in English if you can't do a, a degree, right, obviously, uh, but at least a course and uh, being systematic with the course, processing information from this course in your mind in English, you will see how it changes everything. It's a game changer, honestly, because it's like you unlock a true new level in your English journey. Right? When you start learning in English, not learning English. Okay, so keep that in mind and give it a try, definitely. And let me know how it went. I would really like to hear about your experiences. So you can share a comment, send me an email uh, if that tip works for you. So yeah, wishing you a great day. Mm -hmm.